today I'm here with a really cool video. I was tagged actually in this tag by Shelly over at Collie of the Wobbles. I think that's how you pronounce it. I'm pretty sure that's how you pronounce it. If not, I am sorry, but yeah, I was tagged to do the Disney song book tag and I am really excited about this because I love Disney music and I love Disney movies and I love everything Disney. So this is right up my alley. And I'm, I keep on snapping my fingers for some reason, so let's just get it out of my system. Let's just snap a little bit. Okay. So in her video, she was actually singing the songs and she told me that I had to sing them or I could lip sync them if I wanted to. So we're going to see what happens. I haven't sung the songs yet. I might sing them and speed it up so I sound like a chipmunk or I may just keep my voice the way it is. Who knows? Let's, oh, there's the snapping again. Let's just jump right into the tag. I can show you the world. Shining, shimmering, splendid. Tell me, princess, now when did you let, let your heart decide? I can open your eyes. Take you wonder by wonder Over sideways and under On a magic carpet ride A whole new world So for this one I have to pick a book that made me see the world in a whole new perspective and for this one I'm going to pick Divergent because you'll see I might pick Divergent more than once in this tag, I'm sorry. I picked Divergent because it made me see that everybody is really different like in all the different factions. Some people are kinder, some people are very intellectual, some people are very brave, some people are what's it, really upfront and very um, outspoken like the candor. So this made me view everybody, they, like it doesn't make me place everybody in a certain faction. It just makes me see that everybody is placed in one of these. I'm not making sense, but yeah, Divergent. Cruella de Vil, Cruella de Vil. If she doesn't scare you, then nobody will. I don't know the rest of the words. <laughs> For this one, I have to pick my favorite villain. So I have quite a few, you know, to pick from. I don't know if I want to pick Voldemort. I could pick Voldemort, or I could pick Valentine, or um, Sebastian. I think I'm gonna have to go with Voldemort though, because you know, he's he's very close to my heart. I've loved him since I was 11. I haven't loved him, but you know, he's my favorite villain since I was 11 years old. So I can't like not go with Voldemort. No chance, no way, I won't say it, no, no. Give up, but give in, check the grin, you're in love. This thing won't play, I won't say I'm in love. I have to pick a book that I love, but I don't want to admit that I loved. Now this is tough because I don't really have a book that I loved, but not admitting it because I'm very truthful about everything that I love. So I don't have one for this one. So I'm going to do the opposite for this. I'm going to pick a book that I say, that I said I loved at first, but I lied because I didn't like it. I'm going to go with The Fifth Wave. And the reason that I lied that I loved this book is because it was new to booktube and I was like, oh, I want everybody to love me and blah, blah, blah. But I really didn't like this book and I was like, oh, it's so good, go read it. But I really didn't like it. So I lied at the beginning, but now I'm setting the record straight. I did not like this book at all, really. And I have the, the Infinite Sea, so. I'm gonna read that still, but uh, my hopes aren't very high because I didn't really like this one. So yeah, a book that I said I loved, but I didn't love. I wanna be where the people are. I wanna see, wanna see them dancing, walking around on those, what do you call those things? Oh, street, up where they walk, up where they run, up where they stay all day in the sun. I are those things, wish I could be. Part of that world. This one I have to pick a book that I would want to live in the world of that book. I want to be part of the Shadow Hunter world, specifically this Shadow Hunter world, because of Will and Jem and Tessa. You know how I feel about this. I want to be in their quartet, their trio, but it would be a quartet with me in it. And I think it would be fabulous to be in their trio slash quartet. So this one. 
The next song is Gaston from Beauty and the Beast and I don't know the words to this song so I'm just gonna play the clip of the song while I dance to it. Gaston, looking big like Gaston. No one's got us well cleft in his gym like Gaston. As a specimen, yes, I'm intimidating. I wanna go get Gaston. This one I'm gonna pick Octavian, Octavius, Octavi something. The guy from Camp Jupiter that pisses everybody off with the teddies and you know, he's like their Oh, I can't remember what his name is. Octavian, Octavius, Octavi something. So him. He he just pisses me off every time I read him. It's like, get away. Go. Shoot. Goodbye. La 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 A dream is a wish your heart makes when you're fast asleep. In dreams you will lose your heartache. Whatever you wish for, you keep. For this one, I have to describe my dream book. Okay, let's see. It would have this hot guy in it, preferably Harry Styles, maybe, why not? Um, we would, would it be a contemporary? Prob well, I don't know. Oh gosh, this is tough. Okay, with Harry Styles, number one, we would have Harry Styles. I would have gorgeous hair. <laughs> gorgeous flowing hair. Uh, Harry Styles would be my knight in shining armor. I wouldn't be a damsel in this chest because I don't want to be in any type of danger. I would just be there and he would be mine. And we would have the best of times together. I think that's just my fantasy overall, but I think it would make a great book. Don't you think so? Someday my prince will come. Someday. that I would marry so we have a little situation here because I have a list you know Jim Carstairs, Augustus Waters, um, Harry Styles he's not on my list for books but he's on my list I have Jim Carstairs I have oh my god I have Dorian I have Peta I have who do I have I have Oh my god, Etienne! I think I'll have to pick Etienne, because he's real, he's not a knight, he won't die. Etienne, Etienne, Etienne Saint, 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 Saint Cal? Saint Cal, Etienne Saint Cal, Saint Cal, Etienne Saint Cal, Etienne Saint Clair. Etienne Saint Clair is going to have to win. <laughs> can't not pick Etienne St. Clair. I mean, Jim's with Tessa, he's with Anna, but we can push Anna to the side. She doesn't have magical powers or anything, so, you know. Etienne St. Clair is my love. So the next song is I See the Light, and this is from Tangled, and I've only seen Tangled once, so I don't know the lyrics to this. So again, we're just gonna roll the song, and I'll be dancing to it. words are so skip that. So I have to pick a book that changed my life. I'm gonna pick Allegiant for this one or just like the entire Divergent series in one but Allegiant and I can't I don't want to say it out loud in case somebody hasn't read this book yet but it hurt. It, it changed my life. If you've read the book you know what I'm talking about. It changes quite a few things it makes you not trust certain people anymore. People who have their names on the book covers. And, you know, it, it just, it scarred us. It scarred everybody that read the book. Just, I, I can't talk about it. I can't even talk about it. When you wish upon a star, does it? I 
wish I could reread for the first time. Clean slate, wipe my memory of this book and just like reread it for the first time and enjoy it as much as I did back then. I would pick the Clockwork uh, Infernal Devices series. It was so good and I just loved every minute of it and I wish I could return and wipe my memory and reread it and be as surprised as I was when I read it the first time and be as satisfied as I was when I finished with this book because it is the best ending in the entire world. The good news is I've only read it once so not everything sticks in my mind after the first time so I can definitely reread it again and enjoy it just as much I think as <laughs> you know why not why not okay to be monarchy 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 in it you know the king and the queen and stuff so this one the throne of glass series certainly has monarchy 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 in it yeah <laughs> is my favorite cover of all time but this one has the nicest coloring on it so assassin's blade so that was the disney book song book tag disney song book tag so i'm gonna tag caitlin over at the ya bookworm blogger and i'm also gonna tag mandy at oh it's mandy so i better see those videos soon girls okay <laughs> I will see you guys next time with a brand new video. Okay.